tonight on ABC's The Lookout. Got an issue with your animal? How about a session with the pet psychic? I'm getting telepathic messages and feelings. Is your dog ticked off you missed his birthday? Is your goldfish lonely? I think he would like some other fish. He's a little bored. Would you believe her? And would you pay up the 200 bucks to find out? Before you decide, sit, stay, and watch. <laughs> Analyze that. Before you spend anything, we'll do whatever it takes to help you get more out of your money. Seems like everybody is trying to sell you something these days. Which is why tonight, we're on the lookout for you. ABC's The Lookout is about to get busy. And now, things are about to get zooey on The Lookout. It's morning in Los Angeles. Let's put on your pretty outfit. And Max and Misty are being dressed up for a very big day. Hi, how are you? Because today, we're taking Ashley and her dogs to meet a woman they hope will change their relationship forever. Ashley wonders, how do Max and Misty feel about her? And for that matter, how do they feel about the outfits? It would be nice to know, are they, are they hot in them? Do they hate them? Here we are. You see, we're going to meet a pet psychic. I mean, can you read up on what they think of these outfits? They actually enjoy it and love it. And they love walking down the street and being noticed. They love to strut. Okay. Yes. Melissa is reading Max and Misty for free because we're doing this story. Does she have like a tiara or an outfit that she really likes that has Max diamonds? is actually the reigning Mr. New Jersey for the Barking Beauty pageant. That's what so it was. I was has, seeing pageant. Max has a tiara. <laughs> That's what I was seeing. But normally, she charges up to $200 for her readings. And we wanted to know more about what that might buy you. So Melissa agreed to do a bunch of other free readings, and we put out a call for pet owners with burning questions. Destiny. Fabio. This is Sparkle, and I just want to know where she came from. Why is she so finicky? She has a little, I feel like, a sociopathic tendency. She doesn't like eye contact. Can you make eye contact with the camera? Yeah. Oh, there she goes. <laughs> hey, be nice. Why doesn't she like to make eye contact? She makes eye contact with you, right? Yeah. Like she's showing me if somebody's trying to look at her and figure her out, she's just looking at you. So she kind of mirrors your actions. Melissa told me she communicates most often with animals through mental pictures. Are you having a conversation with them? And all of um, them together or one at a time? One at a time. I got a lot of images with this turtle right here. Like she was showing me the backyard and she was showing me um, the food. But she says sometimes she feels their emotions instead. I think he would like some other fish. A little bored. Is there anything he wants to tell us? He's telling me that he's the clown of the house, like totally makes you guys laugh. <laughs> Last year I kind of forgot it was your birthday. You remembered a few days later and yes. then you did something for yes. her. Yes. Right, that's what she's saying. Yeah. She's like, last year mom forgot. She knows her mom forgot her birthday yeah. last year. And she's like, yeah, my mom won't forget my birthday this year. I used to handle her. She's telling me that she does miss that interaction oh, a little bit. Yeah. She's telling you she wants to be held more? Yes. Uh, yeah. Okay, before you buy, you're probably wondering if there's any evidence this makes sense. We went to an animal expert. So, would a dog really be hurt if someone forgot its birthday? It's very unlikely that a dog would have a concept of a birthday, and therefore, it's really unlikely that they would resent someone forgetting their birthday. How about the Chihuahua with trust issues? Could she really just be mimicking her owner's behavior like the psychic said? Dogs communicate through sense of smell and body language. It's quite likely that a dog would mimic the body language of its owner. And how about that lizard? The pet psychic said he's a real funny guy. Lizards have small brains, about the size of a pea. It's very unlikely that a lizard would have a sense of humor. But Melissa has an answer for that. Sure, the average lizard doesn't have a sense of humor. But this animal is a pet, and Melissa says pets have different life experiences and give her different visions than wild animals. Now, Melissa wasn't always a pet psychic. Have you ever done something you're ashamed of? In fact, up until a few years ago, she was an actress, a horror movie scream queen. But she says she always felt connected to animals and started to think that perhaps she had a psychic ability. 
These days, she runs her own rescue shelter, Lucky Puppy Rescue and Retail, where she told us that she has a lot of satisfied customers who say what she tells them rings true. How do I know that what you're telling me isn't something you were just completely making up? Most people that are coming to me for a reading, it's somebody that knows their pet and loves their pet. So there's going to be something that I say that's going to let them know that I'm talking to their pet. Have you ever got a reading wrong? No. Maybe it's because she gets a lot of practice at home, where she lives with her husband, seven dogs, and three rabbits, who, by the way, she says she communicates with all the time. People always ask me, well, are you, you have seven dogs? Are you constantly hearing voices? Are you? No, I have to tune in and actually talk to them. It's right now you're not choice. reading that. Yes. It's very little crazy. Would go a little crazy. Crazy or not, of all the people who went to see Melissa, all but one believed. And remember Ashley? For the record, she too is a believer. Do they have a toy that looks like a, a Tiffany's box or something? They do, actually. That's really weird. I was seeing a Tiffany's box, but it was fuzzy. It says uh, it's Sniffany's. By the way, if Ashley and her dogs look familiar, it might be because you've seen them on the show Doggy Mods. Had you watched any other episodes no, before? No, okay. I actually refused to watch anything because I wanted to have a clear mind. Are you convinced that what she's telling you is a psychic ability? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. And once you said about the Tiffany's box, I was like, that's it. So if you're an animal lover like Ashley and wondering if it's worth spending up to 200 <laughs> bucks to find out what your pet is thinking, I told you about the bedtime the stories, story. consider what you believe. I'm Emily Elizabeth, and this is my dog, Clifford. And how much believing is worth to you? Okay, it's time for bed. Maybe you should sleep on it.